guys so in this video I just want to compare what happens when you use relational operator in um, two scenarios and a ternary operator in C so here I have simple uh, definitions norm 1 is 10 norm 2 is 20 and using the relational operator I'm saying norm 1 is equals to norm 2 and whatever is the output of that I'm putting in state so this is using the relational operator now norm 1 is not equal to norm 2 so the state should be false or it should return a 0 in the second scenario here on lines 13 I have norm 1 which is 10 equal equal norm 2 minus norm 1 so norm 2 is 20 minus 10 so 10 equal 10 that should be true that should give us a 1 now the ternary operator here I have 3 less than 4 is it true well yes that's true so it should return norm 1 or norm 1 will be assigned to state so what is norm 1 10 so state is going to be 10 and in the lines 20 here I have 3 is greater than 4 which is false so this 3 greater than 4 is the condition and we are questioning that is it true or false if it's true it's going to return the first value which is norm 1 if it's false it's going to return the second value so 3 greater than 4 is false so it should return norm 2 which is 20 so let's just run this program here now and look at the outputs um, so here you go so state is 0 that's in lines 11 so 10 and 11 because norm 1 is equated to norm 2 and that is false so you get a 0 in lines 13 and 14 we know that norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2 minus norm 1 so that is true so state gonna be a z um, equal to a 1 which we have and then lines 17 and 18 um, 3 less than 4 is true so norm 1 should be, a, should be assigned to state so 10 is assigned to state and lines 20 21 3 greater than 4 is false so that will return the second it will return norm 2 and assign it to state so state is 20 so this is all I want to show in this program. Bye for now guys.